you had to come get in the car. Yeah, it happened with folks. <laughs> But the, the, realms. Okay, <laughs> but the story continues on this 90 degree day, okay? As the plot thickens on the base. So, I sit here like, she do all this crying to me at 43 years old. Like, she can't even tell her life story without, I used to be mutant. So, I'm like, you, I got a whole space for you in that. But you can't hold space for this two year old? Again, I told you I'm here for the kids. That's where the fuck I draw the line at. I was like, nah. Um, so spirit on oh, my phone, maybe over here. Man. So spirit was like, uh, yeah, you. Uh, we gonna have to make a way. Hey, all right, no problem, at all, nigga. Let's okay. Tell the story. So spirit was like, y'all better make a way. And so I was like, all right. So we had to be able to move in this environment. Being truthful with who we are, honoring who we are, with still being able to hold them accountable as entrepreneurs giving medicine to the community. Yes. We're still being able to sustain ourselves. Yeah, so I'm still sending videos, yeah. articles. Because now the shop is back open. We come back after this yeah. two weeks, things are back in the regular flow. This goes back to that. As they're still bringing up conversations about their partners and spouses well at this point alicia has been oh i'm sorry no they didn't want to say her name but uh i'm gonna have to beat that out yep but uh so let's go back to this <coughs> spirit, spirit wanted to make it no no <coughs> let me tell you what to, took place during this two weeks let me show you how nasty she is so i noticed how she always wants to have private conversations with all of us as a staff separate with no witnesses. So if you ever work there and she pull you to the side like, do you mind if I talk to you for a minute? No, she got something up her sleeve, fam. That's that demon. Anybody who worked there or don't, used to, that's that demon fucking with you. So she pulled me to the side and it was another Leo there who happened to be in a relationship with a male Pisces as well. And this woman happened to be fully pregnant at the time. So she talking about her what's going on with her her partner and her and Maria like going through the same shit at the same time. But what's cracking me up is Maria think cause her and Isaiah got a brick and mortar that she better in a better situation than this woman. No, yours is worse, fam. So Cause you think you better. That's why it's worse. <laughs> and not take actively making moves, even though you have all the resources to do so, to alter your situation. Well, you know, they don't. So, during this time, she pulls me to the side and was like, I'm thinking about letting two people go. One was, again, this Leo, because she was pregnant. And so, she was taking a lot of breaks, y'all. She was. But she fucking, she small as fuck. She pregnant as hell. She tired as fuck. I'm not going to tell the background of her household, but it wasn't nothing nice. So I knew what all this woman was going through, and I knew she was exhausted as fuck. She had even told Maria, just give me until August. My baby due the first week of August. Let, like, let me make it to August 1st, working here. And then thank you for your services, right? Maria. And then it's another woman who's there who's around Maria's age who's a Sag. She was thinking about firing this woman. Because this woman, you know how like somebody got an Eeyore spirit, but they don't know they got an Eeyore spirit, but they not meaning to because nobody is really bringing it to their attention. So they like, if you just tell me, I could do something about it. But nobody was giving them clear communication on like, that's it right there. So I knew this, like this woman is Sag, my dad is Sag. I got, a, I used to have a homie that, who mama was a Sag. So I'm like, again, when you pay attention to people, how they move, how they think, how they process, you, you go there. So... She complained about this woman because this woman would like kind of talk negative all the time. But Maria couldn't see this is a reflection of her. She literally said she hired every woman in her shop because she thought that they could one day be her friend. She looked at them as people she could eventually be able to have to hang out with because she ain't got nobody. Why? Because they always see her shadow and they be like, I ain't dealing with that shit. So, but they won't tell her to her face. So she never knows that this is what's going on. It's always all the whispers 
and the crazy in her head that make her think that people talking about her because they jealous but they really talking about her because she insane so sitting there and we doing that she pulls me to the side talking about these two women and i'm like well i see your point but i'm like either way you do this you need to have an honest conversation about what you observed about them so they know what they need to work on personally so they don't make the same mistake in another environment because again you will want pat life path like Rashard. again you said that's the type of woman i want to be these are not my words these are yours so i was like Rashard, not here as much as me let me help you out and give you an example Rashard would never do this this way this is how Rashard would handle it so I give you that input because you pull me to the side privately about these two women. I said do it so they can walk away with their dignity. We get back from the two weeks. It's the day before we all supposed to return to work. It's the day the woman who is pregnant is supposed to return to work. And she notices she didn't get her schedule. This woman decides to send me a text and say hey am i on the schedule are you on the schedule now i already know what's happening and i'm uncomfortable because i'm like i told you how to handle this so i was like no nah, fam because again i don't want to gossip that's messy so i'm giving maria all the space and opportunity to use her words to express to this grown woman how she feels about her and how what type of employee she felt like she was she never did y'all to this y'all she did after this fact and you the way she did it is so strategic and nasty it's gonna make you throw up in your mouth so i have to text maria no so the girl i told her to text maria she said she already did and maria didn't respond so she ends up going to she ends up going to the shop either that day or the next day which is a monday and she is met with isaiah now i don't know if she sent this woman an email and it was my bad maria said isaiah sent it she always throws isaiah on the bus i don't know if he did it or not but today when i got fired isaiah says maria does the hiring and firing but on this day i am very clear from maria's mouth that isaiah did the firing in a very nasty disgusting way to this woman and her cutting off business ties to her partner Maria cried to me and was like, I just don't think it was right how he did it. I don't like the words that he used. I don't like his tone. It was very harsh. I would have never did that. So I was like, damn, okay. I was like, was she pregnant? I mean, did you make sure she okay? Did you make sure they household okay? I mean, she already was stressed about what she was going to do, what they was going to do about money and this extra income when she would have to take a break off of maternity leave. So this how y'all choose to handle that? Y'all, this woman came back in the shop a week or so later with hives, cut her, shaved her head off. And a massive breakout of that was the hives. That's oh, what oh. but no, this looked like something deeper. Mm, mm, okay. uh, like rash of something else around her neck and the crevices of her legs and her arms. She looked like she was in pain. From the stress that was now in her household because of the financial loss and the way that it was done yeah so Mar i show maria the text message of this woman texting me and i told her because why this is what it looks like to be an elder see a lot of us be like i'm a baba i'm a mama i'm a shake i'm a, all these titles you want all these grand things but you can't mediate your own household isaiah bay you can't grow your soul at all you still want to be acting from your child wounded space from your leo mother that's why you attracted her and your wife uh, my bad your baby mama so going from that i was like damn i show her the text of this woman i'm like the way you handle this so that when i show her the text that's what she wanted to cry these poo poo tears and blame it on her husband and then she sit up here and reached out to this woman and her husband and was like, y'all can put y'all product back in my store. Because I told her, y'all, I checked her so hard that this is when the nasty in her, that demon really flared up. She think that it's her bigger lioness that made her rise up because she didn't like the way I was talking to her. It's the demon Maria. 
So on this day when I checked her, I checked her and was like, black women sick of you. Cause y'all should know, let's be real. Maria is, her mother is Puerto Rican from Puerto Rico. Her father is black. Maria does not, compl she does not own her black energy. Maria will constantly tell you she Puerto Rican from New York. And that her mother told her to leave black men alone when she was a little girl. Isaiah Orton Bay is the first black man she has ever had sex with. And this is her demise. Her mother was right. I never, she said, my mother, she said, my mother always be right. Let me tell you, this is the day that the Lord has made where your mother gets confirmation. You the best mother ever because you tried to warn this little girl and you saw that demon on her when she was little and mute and couldn't talk and you tried to help her get it out by being honest with her and like you weak and you was trying to tell her you in New York bitch you ain't got time to be weak this ain't the place planet earth ain't the place to be this weak and guess what it's sad because she still did it she still became that so I pray for that generational healing between y'all because her inner teenager is rebelling so bad that is rebelling her soul from getting this work done so she can heal for her and her children. And that's how Mary had a little lamb. So, because Maria don't like people not liking her, she don't like to be perceived a certain way. Because, again, narcissists, they all about you liking them instead of actually being a good person. And if you don't believe us, go watch the episode of In Treatment on HBO. And it's a patient on there who was very narcissistic. And... The therapist is like, she calls it when she sees it. It's a white guy. Yes, and she also does it though for the black girl who's a Pisces. Yeah. Since we're talking about this Pisces energy. <laughs> Come on. And that's season four, I believe, or if that's not season four. It's season four. It's the most recent one, okay? Yes. And that's that great season. Yes. Great writing, they, great work. Great people fulfilled. Go watch it. You're going to see yourself in it. Grow. Because I saw myself. You better heal. So moving on. Definitely saw Maria Bay. Uh, definitely saw Isaiah Bay. Moving on. So I'm sitting there. I check her and I said, black women sick of you. Um, they sick of you not claiming your African ancestry, sitting up here receiving all this money and stability, complaining about it, complaining about the community, talking about y'all dumb. She died, She got to downplay herself for y'all and, and she tired of it. And she says all the time that people tell her she's not grateful. So this is not nothing new. No, she she's like, I'm hella ungrateful. She like, people come up to me all the time like, you should be grateful. She like, I'm so sick of that. They get on my nerves. And I'm like, she actually was like, fuck the story. Every time we'd be like, well, why don't you just close? Don't, you know, keep the store open. She always be like, you know, fuck the store. Yeah. Because we'd be like, you know, we'll clean it up for the store, you know, for the people, for the community. She'd be like, fuck it, it could all go. Yes. So I'm like, well, why you all just walk away and let it all go? You just rather be nasty. So that's what I watch. You rather just have this, make up this story of you being so stressed out. And you a victim. And, and, and it's victimhood. Of and everybody is pulling on you from and your children, your husband, you. and the community. Instead of you just saying, I need a break. And I need to go do my work. And I need to hire some other people. And I told her, I think that you need to hire you a nanny. Y'all have the resources. I told her she should ha hire a supervisor or a manager to be the bit middle person between her and Isaiah and the staff so that they don't have to be responsible for all this and they can actually go and enjoy their kids. That's what Charm Noir advised. That's what we advised. Take care of yourself. Treat yourself. Rest. I said, yourself. I said, hey, I've seen a lot of vegan chefs on the come up here who do meal prep. Y'all should go buy y'all a few. Had that stored in the refrigerator. So that's one less thing you got to worry about. These are the things I said. Maria Bay did none of these things. Not one. I say not one. She didn't read. She didn't watch no video. She didn't even watch the video of herself. She didn't even drink no alkaline water. She did not, honey. The pee is a yellow. Because why she don't flush the toilets? And that's all Mary had a little lamb. So. She had to go and be clean up. And so she reached out to this woman. Let her husband or partner rather, because again, another one who not married and husband that partnered and bamboozled him and not getting married. She sits up here and tells this woman that this woman and her partner can put their products back in the store. He can do his little demo in the back of the store and she can come back and get her little free, her little alkaline water. So this woman coming back in there, girl, y'all, I saw her. And I saw what the, re the actions of Maria did to this woman's skin. Let me tell you something. I said my mother was nasty. I'm going to be real honest. My mother does not have shit on Maria Orton Bay. And y'all, that's not even her real name. Because she's, 
again she's still carrying the last name of her actual ex-husband the person she actually was married to who is a white man but she a more by way of Puerto Rico Boica New York she said I have an issue with black women because they tend to be jealous of me because of Isaiah y'all like I said before and I'm not even trying to be mean I'm not even trying to be look I see what my hair looked like so I'm not out here like a beauty queen but this man is a buck 50 not even literally y'all he like 90 pounds he 90 pounds Chain smoking. Chain well, smoking. Chains. I don't know if he chain smoking, he, but he smoking smokes enough. He's smoking enough to report that his, his teeth is rotting. And his teeth are sucked in. His teeth are definitely rotting. Y'all can see that's on Mary Hell and Lamb. You can see it. And again, stuff. if you are following Dr. Sabi's diet, and Dr. Sabi's diet is supposed to rejuvenate you, it is supposed supposed to rejuvenate you to a healthy state. If you if you using coconut oil on your teeth, it's supposed to help you restore your teeth and get rid of cavities. So Maria Maria is the type of woman that any time a woman is more sure and strong within herself, she creates a scenario that this woman wants her husband. So she and wants her life. Yes. Even though she's always trying to get sister wives in the in the mix. She literally y'all I got it on tape when she invited me to be a part of their family and I had to keep telling her no and I had to actually tell her on tape. When you say that, that makes me uncomfortable. So again. I never said I wanted to be a sister wife. Baby girl, you sent out the invitation and once I declined and you saw that my decline was real, you got upset and started to treat me different. Then, let's move it on. So, she fired this woman and y'all, when she fired that woman, that's when I saw their sales go down. So, again, y'all better pay attention to y'all surroundings and how shit moves. Y'all, they was making buck money, y'all. I ain't gonna lie. I was like, damn, these niggas cleaning up. They almost made me want to go into partnership and have, let them have a second location. I was like, nigga, I'll take out a business loan myself. And y'all, I just want the name. Because I know these niggas in this city hate my black ass. Because I'm too real for them. But they love y'all. And I want y'all family to win. That's how much they was pulling. I was saying this to their face. This is not in the shadows. Now, if they don't remember, y'all need to question all that smoking they be doing and their disassociation from their body and their soul loss. And again, that knot on the back of this woman's head from her being punched from a past partner and she never went to get no work done to heal that. And that's on Mary Hello Lamb. So, that happens. And I'm like, damn, they sales going down. Like, okay. So, I'm just watching, observing. So my time starts to decrease there with these sales going down. So I don't have to come there as frequently. I'm coming in and out a couple hours here and there, staggering in days. But at the same time, again, we're, we're noticing more and more Maria Shadow. She getting nastier and nastier, y'all. We, we seeing the misogyny come out. You know, we, we seeing the, the of course, we've been seeing the imposter syndrome. So that's, that's nothing. But new. it got worse, y'all. It got, it like felt the need to amp the fuck up. I was like, she don't even see herself. And she keeps saying, I'm tired, but I got all this energy. I was like, girl, you they got you inside a battle. Where how is you tired? And you like this at the same time. Like, friend, friend, get that off you, friend. Because you want to go to sleep. She always like, I just want to sit down. She is still like that. Everybody just on me. Go to bed. Everybody is on you, all right. On you. <laughs> Them demons. Yes. Them disincarnate spirits that you buried deep. You use them as a protection because you don't want to deal with you. And so, I'm there now more by myself. So now instead of trying to get Krishara's attention, she is, the, the other lady is no longer there. Because she asked me would I be okay with this lady leaving because I talked to her more. So, I end up having a hot, remember way back probably in part two, because this may be a cut up video, but earlier in these videos, I talked about she was going to have a conversation and she was juggling between this Leo and this Sag. Now let's fast forward to this Sag. So, she's still complaining her and her husband in shadow. 
about this sash still not having an adult conversation so they're very quick to cut people off so it's very juvenile it's never three strikes you out it's never let me talk to you let me give you a warning maria has literally told me she watches and observes people y'all she even do it on these cameras she got she even listens to y'all y'all private conversations when she not there to see if people gossiping and talking about her y'all the mental illness on this woman is real single white female Rio, because she's so paranoid. All she got to do is be an honest person and doesn't have to deal with none of this in here. But baby, she will watch you like a hawk on them cameras. Again, you got high hole kids. You have no time. And you you have, you claim that you're too busy. You got two to with disability. Your work. You have two children with a disability. Out of five, two have a disability. And I'm not trying to be funny. I am being realistic. I come from grandmothers and great, I mean, great grandmothers who had nine or 10 children. I'm coming from grandmothers who both had four to five kids apiece. So I saw them struggle. I know what goes into it. And let me tell you, baby case, they had no fucks for the fucks outside of nothing. There was some bullshit. So that's what I learned from grandmothers. So I, they're complaining about this sash to the point at this point i'm tired of hearing them complain about it and i do nothing about it and i'm tired of hearing the sash complain about them about them in shadow and she is suffering from hot flashes and i'm like baby girl let me help you with this this burning up feeling let you let me walk you through where this is coming from so you can heal because she has went to another black woman healer and she didn't vibe well with her and so i'm like let me help you out sincere from my heart because i got a lot of fire in me too so I said, babes, babes, it's your mouth. Chill out. Like, when you say these things, it burns your energy field. And it makes you even more tired and exhausted, which lowers that energy field, which burns you up on inside. It's burning you up on inside. Just stop. Guess what, y'all? She did. Like, yo, she be kind of, like, I really was able to see her dopeness. She, all that wine, all that whatever was causing her to whine, she was like, basically being honest with her because she is sad brought her to her realness we had a deeper relationship i really started to connect with her i was like you cool i'm sharing with her the synchronicities i see in my life excuse me with the other woman that's working in there who are pisces so i'm like y'all this was one in my life and this shit blowing my mind what about y'all so we're seeing it in synchronicities within each other do you know 43 year old Maria watching us at home on her cameras jealous and angry at this dynamic so she starts to nitpick at me and create things of why she mad at me this how psycho she is she doing all this while giving me a raise just like a Leo throw money at it doing all this giving me a raise so again, if I'm such a terrible person in your store. And again, we can take a screenshot of that because I know how to pull up your, your rate as an employee. Yeah. In the in the app. Yeah. So it went from $15 to $17 to $20. That's how much I was doing in her store. Got one, her team, we was all running like a well-oiled machine. In her mind, she think this hurt. She like, she got my stat. She like, I got this team finally the way I want it y'all one day again she always confesses to me in the shadow my greatness and my work she gonna tell me one day it's just me and her in her kitchen she was like i know it's y'all who got my business running like this and got me feeling like i could relax now because th- she was like i'm really now actually enjoying my staff at this same time when she tells me this Krishara does recce on her youngest child. Now, this baby is premature. Bless his little Taurus soul. He is so precious. I'm sorry that he chose her and him, but he did. God bless you on the lesson. I see in your eyes that you got the long haul in you. I pray you make it. Now, this young man was born premature, so he is one years old, and he kind of still is functioning and moving as like a seventh month or eighth month old at this point. Because prior to that, it was maybe like a four month old. Because he was not able to sit up on his own. She had to still hold his back 
and help him sit up. He only could breastfeed. He was not on any solids. And he was hitting towards one years old. He cannot even touch the floor. And again, I know that this can happen sometimes with premature babies. I was two months premature. So again, when your experiences gives you wisdom. I was born three pounds. This baby from Maria's mouth was smaller or bigger rather than me. And one of the things my dear Aunt Jane, my grandmother's older sister, used to say about me the day that she was born, and I asked the doctors how your premature ass was doing, he said, do you see her leg plopped up on that incubator? He was like, this one a strong room right here. She's a fighter. And Jane told me that story to the day she died because she said that's her favorite story of me. Because why I reminded her of my gatekeeper and my spiritual teacher, my Aunt Leela, her older sister. So again, this is how clear you too can be if you choose you a soul coach who actually got their soul in their body. So I give her child Reggie. And this miracle. As soon as I feel his legs, first of all, I can feel the energy just rushing through me into him as if he had no life in him. His legs were cold. Now let's be honest. Anybody who's ever shopped in this store or knows her, she literally holds him like this. Girl, the baby need to be in something like a bouncing so he can learn to strengthen up his own muscles. I said, won't you put a carrier, at least put him in a carrier on your back. Because this position for hours in a day cannot be healthy for his circulation. She wouldn't do it. Go ahead. So I'm giving this little baby Reiki. And we talking telepathic. I'm like, I know, I feel it. And his legs just lighten up. Just I could just feel them hot. They were just hot little sticks. <laughs> they so cute, little old man. He's so cute. And as I was doing it, I was like, well, let me just keep. I was like, clearly this is working. Clearly this is something he needs. Mm -hmm. You know, I, it's not a session. She hasn't paid me for it. I'm just like, you know, I can't leave little precious I like that. I can't leave the baby here without no energy. Let me give him some because I feel a rushing into him. And this goes on for maybe like 20, 30 minutes that I'm giving this baby Reggie. The next day, I end up getting sick. And I showed Maria this video of Kishara throwing up. You know this woman had no sympathy. So, time goes on. The next day, probably, when I'm not there. She says, don't he look bigger than you? Don't he look more loud than you? And I was like, I heard my ancestors say that's after Chris Shard did that Reiki. Now, I know they trying to see if she present enough because after Chris Shard did the Reiki, she said, mm, what you just did, I should pay you to do that on him every week and my autistic son. Again, this is a woman who wants to cry crocodile tears to every black woman, not claim being black, wants to pretend to be more just so y'all can come in and spend money in a store and talk about y'all behind her back and behind y'all back would not even move for her two children with a disability. She saw Krishara's work work. Now I'm sitting here, she doesn't move and doesn't get any work. She keeps talking about how her son who is autistic, how he is having a hard time and he's becoming more and more aggressive to the younger children. Still not getting him any work done. How even the littles were becoming more and more aggressive towards each other and noticing how little Isaiah would get hit and would laugh at it and said she felt like that that was a reflection of her now again i do shadow work and mindfulness anybody that's in the healing field what does this woman expect me to do with all this information just hold it in my womb space and continue to let myself get sick we don't do that no more no we learn from the past and we show people how you elevate and grow once you learn your lessons and that's how you become a master teacher of life and that's on God okay and your ancestors so I'm sitting there like this a mess this a stone cold mess cause they're getting worse you getting worse and your husband just stay high and act like ain't none of it happening what do you do with that and I can only imagine for her daughter. What do you do with that? So, we go on and Maria now, 
Krishara decides, okay, I'm gonna give her, Krishara said, this is my last attempt with this woman. Literally, this is me and Krishara conversation. She like, this woman got five kids. I, I can't do this to these kids. This is my last attempt. I'm gonna send her these three articles. These three articles about her chart. And I need her to just read them and be quiet. Because my bad, let's, my grandma told me, let's be transparent and go back to this conversation when I got in her face and I said black women sick of her. Y'all, I got dead ass in her face. And I got in her face like, you know how when you was little and your black mother, because again, only culturally you will understand this if you got a black mama. See, my mama used to snatch me up and do shit like this. Maria, lucky I ain't grab her face. I ain't do that because I had enough knowledge to know to leave her with some type of dignity because she still really is a grown ass woman, even though she's acting like a teenager. So again, this is my mama. I just got in Maria face and said, no more. You don't get to do this to black women no more. Y'all, she had the audacity to go to another Latino woman and cry crocodile tears so this woman could sit up here and use her mamacita latino-ness on me no mas we don't do that no more moving on going back to maria being nasty and it getting worse because she needed this woman to feed her give her life and speak life into her yes and that's what she said she said well you you turned on me and i see that um i don't like the way you do things and you're projecting onto me no, we watching you and we, we saying like we see you doing these things, bam. Ma'am, I didn't even ask you for none of this information. This is because you can't stop talking in this shop or on Facebook. Now, y'all, this is where anybody who Facebook friends with her, hey, hey, y'all, hey, y'all. Now, you going to see that it was a time where she had a meme up where it was a group of people. And then it was two people standing or one person standing by themselves. She said, this is Crystal Fuller and Charm Noir, which is Krishar on Facebook. She said, this is how I pretend to be on Facebook, but I, I plan to keep going like them so one day I can be this in real life. If you go look on her Facebook the page now, she took it off. And it was talking about a person basically not giving no fucks and speaking their truth. And like, if I got to stand alone to do this, then I'll do that. So this is us doing that. This same her shirt. She, she said I, on Facebook, she's like... I do this, I fake this on Facebook. So she calling people out on Facebook being a tyrant and running her mouth. And she, But she says, I aspire to be like this in real life. And these two women are teaching me how to do that. So in real life, we doing this with her. And then you get mad. You get being mad. So we going. After I see you, I sent her the articles. Yep. She said, I asked her, did she read them? Mm -hmm. She's like, no. Well, I kind of read it, and I was sitting on the toilet, when I, and I did, uh, giving all these excuses of why she didn't have time to read these articles, but read one. Well, she said she read two of them, but really only read one of them. So I was like, man, let me help you out. I'm gonna sit here. And I sat there for two hours. Sure, I printed them out. I was like, I read them with you and discuss them with you, so you could see it. I sat there for two hours with this woman. With somebody in her shop, another employee sat here and watched all this. So again, I dare Maria or this other employee be like, she felt gained up on. No, ma'am, you did not listen to the prior private conversations that Maria had complaining about all of you at some point in time and not doing anything about it. So today, I had been told her that day I got in her face like a, a mother. I said, from now on, you no longer going to be able to have these private conversations with me in the shadows. You're going to have to deal with your shit in front of everybody. So that's when Krishara and I read this stuff in front of everybody. And this is when she got real nasty. Because why? Them demons was exposed. It it was terrible. The, the amount of squares and oppositions that I read about her. To show her herself and showing she was doing all the stuff she was doing. Manipulating in a delusion. It's a really the master of illusions. That's not a good thing. That means that you're not being your authentic self. And then she said, oh, you mean me being like a chameleon? How I keep changing how I am no matter who I'm around? So it's like, who really are you then? And I told her, I was like, I understand I used to do that too. I said, but the difference is I'm my same self in each place. And people see me and perceive me in the way they want me to. When I keep trying to tell them, that's not who I am. And then when a real person shows up, they're like, oh, that's not who I thought you were. Again, you're not in your body. Because I told you several times. So Krishara reads these articles. And Krishara then leaves. This is the day. Because she, she's like, I, it's, the, it's all going over here. She looking so confused. And she like, again, if anybody ever really pays attention to this woman, she always has a confused look on her, on her face. 
you have to pay attention because it's weird because Leos have a way of projecting like they real securing themselves and they talk with such authority.